Cinema 5D at NAB 2016 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Artlist, inspiring music for your films. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And Atomos. Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D uh, here at the Atomos booth at NAB 2016. We're here with the big boss, Jeremy. Um, give us the sales pitch of your new product, sales please. Sales pitch. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, we have the Inferno, which is our uh, 4K60 HD 240 product. Um, and we've also obviously released and shipped already the, the Shogun Flame and Ninja Flame. And the big thing for both of those is the 1500-nit 10-bit HDR panel. The engine, Atom HDR, is our secret source to control all of the, the elements of the panel, as well as the log curve coming in, and representing that in the way that HDR will look when you finish it in post-production. We, we have also announced that we have a PQ input and output setting where you can use this as a grading monitor with a laptop, for example. So you can shoot the HDR, set it up properly, and then go and edit it, which is a, which is a big thing. I mean, as HDR becomes more popular, of course, there'll be more bigger production monitors out there, but they're quite expensive right now, and you can be a, a, get away with a, a pretty nice production with, uh, on HDR. So, Jeremy, let's move on to the new product, yes. the Shogun Inferno. Okay, so what this is, I'm just going to pull this out. Four B and C inputs, which a lot of people have been asking for, because a lot of the cameras still have, don't have um, 12G. So we also have 12G, 6G on two of the inputs, and one of the output. So it's a converter as well. We take the four 3Gs in, convert it to 12G, and also out HDMI 2.0 and we've got Genlock, so you've got all the connections that you need and of course you've got your XLR as same as the Shogun did um, and a few like few changes with the dual battery system and a more rugged design you've got the black corners not the yellow ones but what is the the biggest advantage so I can I heard I can record 240 frames per second now yes you can 4kp60 and HD 240 um, and the flames go for 1695 and 1295 for the Shogun and the Ninja Flame, respectively. Cool. Any other differences between the two units? Nope, just the 4K60. So it's 300 bucks more for 4KP60. Mm -hmm. And there's only a couple of cameras out there, and it, it's a bigger, bigger processor in there. And we, we can do, um, it just costs a bit more to produce a 4KP60 product. Just one last thing, yep. um, the Shogun Inferno and Flame have now two battery slots as opposed to one which was always kind of a problem on the original Shogun in terms of power consumption. Yeah, we, the engineer said they couldn't fit it, two on the Shogun, but it, we seem to be able to fit it on this, a very similar size product the next time. But the continuous power is very important. I, I didn't want to remove it from the Shogun, but I had to. Um, it now is back and it will be on every product that we can fit it in. Um, it really, and we've also done a fast charger because one of the things about the free accessories we give you is people were uh, that said that the charger just took a bit too long. Um, so we've designed our own charger, and it's now three times faster than any other charger on the on on the planet. And we can charge big batteries in like two hours, whereas they used to take like eight hours. And they're hot swappable as well. Hot swappable. So you, you continuous. It's called continuous power. It's circular battery power. One goes down. You swap, you put a battery on, swap it out, and it switches between them automatically. Okay, thanks, Jeremy. I think that was comprehensive. And yeah, see you next time. Thank you, Cinema 5D.